Hi guys and welcome back to Blues Fans TV. Thoughts on the match today? Boy, I did not expect that performance. Like, Everton's a good team, you know. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like, they've got some good players. Richardson, Sigurdsson, Calvert-Lewin that's been on form recently. Yeah, it's a bit surprising that they didn't get at least one goal because I think they've pretty much scored in every single game that they played under Carlo Ancelotti. So, you know. It's true and we can't keep a clean sheet. Is that, is that due to Kepa? Is, that, is he nah. trying to prove something or is that the defence? Or Nah, it's not the keeper's fault, man. Nah, man. It's the defence. The no, is it, is it down to Kepa today that we kept a clean sheet? Is he, is he proving himself against Liverpool, against Everton, or was it just an all-round group? You know? I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's down to Kepa why we, ke why we kept a clean sheet, because, to be honest, Everton didn't, didn't really test us today. And it's, it's more down to the defence, really. Um, no Tamori again. Listen, Zuma and Rudiger is playing good. They are, yeah. So, whosoever's playing good, whosoever's playing the best, you keep them in the team. If Billy Gilmore, for example. We, we do have to give credit, a lot of credit to Billy Gilmore, against Liverpool and against Everton. And he has only just this year come into the first team. No, so he's a, he's, a, he's, he's a good prospect. I'm not going to lie. He's one of the yeah. best young players in this team right really, now. He's really been, well today. Like, the calmness of the guy, like... Yeah, on the ball. I guarantee you, yeah, this guy must have got about 95% pass accuracy today. Like, the guy is another Cesc Fabregas. I'm telling you, like, big man thing. Like, he, he is that good, yeah? Like, today, the guy, like, gets the ball, plays it simple. Don't force it. And that's what you want from our players. Yeah. They, look, they looked like a Chelsea team that wanted to win today, you know. If you look back to when we went to Goodison Park and we played Everton the first time, didn't really look like they had any confidence to kind of win. Today, they came out there and from the get-go, it was kind of all Chelsea. I didn't really see, I don't know what the stats are right now, but I didn't really see Everton playing as if they needed a point. No, it's true. It's like, I don't know if Carlo got his, ta his tactics wrong today. I don't know, but this is a depleted Chelsea team. Yeah. Like we've got so like most of our first team players are out. Yeah, they're out. They they are getting old, and they are you know they're probably out at the end of the season. They are probably gone. We ha like even Pedro today, is oh, getting old. He played really well today. He's still got legs. Yeah, he's still got legs they, on him. They they wanted it today. I don't know whether that Liverpool. I know, and I keep saying it's the FA Cup, but I don't know whether defeating Liverpool gave them some kind of confidence to be like, okay, we can actually do this. Because not many teams have beaten Liverpool this season in any competition. You know, it's true. And you know what? With, with this Chelsea team as well, yeah. You see, when our back is against the wall, I'm telling you, we come out with shock performances. It's it's been enough. We've been in the top four now since October and the top four hasn't changed. So uh, since the end of October, we have been in the top four. Is that, do you think that they've realized now that to stay in the top four, we need to not rely on the other results from the other teams, but we actually need to play for those three points? No, definitely. We need to play for these three, spot, these, these, um, three points. But to be honest, this season is like last season. It's not because we're better than the teams behind us. It's just that they're the worse. teams behind, yeah, exactly. They're worse. And but Everton have played Man United, and they have played Arsenal, and they have played Spurs. I'm not sure on the Spurs result, but they have beaten, well, they've drawn with Arsenal, and they, I think they've drawn with United this season. So, you know, to come here and get... That's what I'm saying. I didn't really expect this, because since Ancelotti came in, he's, he's been... Exactly. They came from relegation, another 11th, I think. Definitely. And um, I want to talk about some players today, like yeah. Mason Mount. He, yeah, first goal. Brilliant. Billy Gilmore, brilliant. <laughs> Ross Barkley today as well, brilliant. Yeah, Giroud, brilliant. I, think the whole, I don't think there's any player that we can fault no, today. It's true. Giroud was winning every, si every single headers. Every single headers. It's literally like the first time I have seen a cam and no one has criticised one player. It's true. No, you can't criticise no players today. This is what all, all, all Chelsea fans want. Just, just to show a bit of heart and quality. It's so refreshing to see the, 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 the front three scoring. I've never seen, since the start of the season, I've never seen both wingers and the striker score. It, and it's so refreshing to, 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 to see that. We need all our front three players scoring, not just a striker or not just some random player from midfield. You know what I mean? That, that's how I want to see killer instinct. Two nil up, go on. Three nil, four nil, five nil. That's what, that's, that's what we want to see. And we can get top four. We can nail down top four, to be honest. And who we got next? Villa? Um, Predictions Villa, yeah. on Villa? 
Um, I think we're on a run of form, so I think we will win comfortably. You've heard it here first. We're going with the win. Thank you very much.